선생님들 안녕하세요. Greetings. This is live surgery. Today I want to talk about sinus membrane perforation case, which we rarely come across. Let's take a look at the patient. In the past, in the upper left posterior area, lateral window approach was performed to do sinus lift. A long implant was placed, and the patient has been using it nicely for over a decade. Periimplantitis occurred, and because of continuous inflammation, decision was made to remove the implant. After removal, the bone graft that was performed via lateral approach was observed. In this case, utilizing this residual bone, the plan was made to place the implant once again. Guided surgery was planned. One cast kit along with one guide was used, crystal approach, and a little bit of bone graft was planned. As shown, the plan was to use a one cast system for guided surgery to place implant in the upper posterior area. Crystal sinus lift would be performed along with a little bit of bone graft. However, this is a septum-like structure, so there's a high possibility of sinus membrane perforation. Virtual planning was done, and one cast template was printed out. I'm sure you're curious as to how the surgery went. Please check it out through the video clip.
있어서 조금만 들어줘. 거기에서 조금만 들어줘. 내가 얘기하는 콜라겐 깔끔히 해. 네. 응. 제가 콩한 번만 잡을 테니까 큰한 번만 풀어보세요. 됐어요. 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 코에 뭐가 차는 느낌이 있어요? 응. 예. 응. 그럼 다시 한번 한번 흥 풀어볼게요. 네, 됐어요? 어머니 됐습니다. 
힐링이 연결 힐링 Unfortunately, the surgery was not successful. I'm sure you've seen it, but during one cast sinus lift, the patient continued to complain of something coming over and of weird sensation. When Valsalva maneuver and nose blowing was done, Signs indicated a sinus membrane perforation. Therefore, decision was made not to do bone graft. In this case, one guide was utilized for guided surgery and one cast kit was utilized to place the implant in the regenerated area. Please note that because uh, there was excellent primary stability, healing abutment was connected, and the surgery was one stage. This is a pre-op, post-op CT. Number 26 looks okay. In number 27, primary stability was good, but I think it would have been better if I had used a short implant. This is something that could have been improved. How would you have done this surgery? I hope you come to your own conclusions. Thank you.